What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my uh, Yubei Kessin 2 walkthrough. We are on the Siege of Chengdu and we are going to be doing the battle strategy that I think is the best. Yubei. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs as right now only 8% of my viewers are subbed, which is very low. So we'll see if we can get that up. Um, this is Kessin 2. Very fun game. Classic game. Very unique in its experience. It's, it's a weird... It doesn't really fit other games, even in its own series. It kind of is awesome in that way. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been going through, I played this game many, many years ago, and um, it was very fun, obviously. And so I was like, let's just go back through this. And I wanted to just do every single strategy in the game, every one of these battle strategies. Two weeks ago, I did Mason Young's, it sucked. <laughs> then I did uh, Guan Yu's last week. So now we're gonna do Peng Tongs, which I think is the best strategy in the game, and we'll kind of see, we'll kind of talk through what I think about that, why I think it's the best strategy, um, and then we'll, you know, I'll debrief stuff a little bit more. I've talked about this stuff in past videos, but I'll do it again here. So what I've realized is <clears throat> I kind of like this strategy already. Already, enemies or allies are actually further down, which is awesome. Liu Bei is going to stay in at the storehouses. We have two groups in pairs heading around to other gates. And then we have Ma Chao popping up too. Guan Yu is going to still do his little hawk troop thing. And I like this strategy already because I want to get Ma Su's um, meteor strike up. And we have Mei Zin Yang here to be an iron wall blocker for somebody else. And then we have Liu Bei and then we're obviously going to be fighting right by the stronghold. I'm pretty sure somebody will come out of that gate. Last time somebody did. I might even... First off, let me see where they go. If... if I think they're actually going to go all the way around to the other side. Which is kind of weird, but that's fine. I'm not, like, worried about that or anything. But we have Liu Bei just guarding that storehouse. We'll have uh, Sun Li... I mean, the thing that I choose with these, by the way, is, like, which strategies are the ones that make the most sense and which ones require me to intervene a lot. So like, obviously Mason Yang's strategy was so stupid that she was like, everybody go to the North Gate. They have to fall apart if we do that. That's like literally what she says. It makes no sense. She says that and you realize that you, bet, you might as well just move everybody and do different things because that's like the stupidest idea I've ever heard. And then what's funny about that one was the Liu Zhang and all his generals were locked and surrounding the north gate as well so every single enemy and ally was planned to go to the north gate that's the dumbest thing i've ever seen with Guan Yu's, um it made a little bit more sense in that you had everybody going to the east gate so i could just kind of slightly modify some people as opposed to with mason yang they modified everybody's um with going with uh peng tongs well this is odd we have zhang ren just why is Zhang Ren here? Okay. It's weird. But Zhang Ren is attacking. <laughs> don't understand. But see, this is the thing. I like this. The enemy reinforcers, by the way, is Dong Mon Feng, which is the little ninja chick. She's randomly here somewhere. She actually spawns in a different place every single time. Um, on Mason Young's terrible strategy, she actually spawns at the hill and fights Guan Yu up there. Um, but with... Where's, where's Zhao Chang? What? How come Zhao Chang isn't here? With Guan Yu this time. It's weird. I don't get that. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Last time Zhang, Zhao Chang was here, so that's, that's weird. But um, all right, we'll do charge with Guan Yu straight through just all of that. We'll take it slow. We don't need to do too much here. We'll do a big charge on that big group of red, and then we'll raid through the other group, hit everything that's on the map on, under Zheng Ren, cause tons of damage. We'll probably just charge right through that, do a ton, yep. And then we'll, now that we're over here, we'll raid. Where's that group that I missed? Okay, they're all over there. So yeah, we'll raid into them. We'll run past them here. We'll spin back around. And then come right back across Hit the rest of the units again, just because, why not? We don't have a lot of time, so we might as well just kind of make the most of this. 
But yeah, so um, Guan Yu, you don't want to change his pathing. I don't think you want to because I'm pretty sure if you do, uh, he won't do the uh, hawk attack as well. He may still do it, but I just don't want to take that chance because having a general just spawn in the gate is amazing. But um, anyway, so what it will probably do is at some point, I'm trying to think if I should... We have Sun Li, we have, I actually may do real quick. I'm gonna have Jigu Liang aboard his mission and go back to that, that gate there. Just in case they, they also zoom in on Zheng Fei here and make sure nobody is just running. Okay, it looks like nobody is. So what I do is uh, just make sure here. So there's what I thought. Dong Wong Fang, or whatever her name is, she is attacking Liu Bei, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, what is happening here? Why are y'all being stupid? Again, I'm not super worried about that. Just because... Yeah, like, that shouldn't be a problem. Dong Wong Fang doesn't really have... She has some abilities, but obviously we have... Um, Liu Bei has two Meteor Shower people, which is great. Might as well just throw out Guam Ping's Rally here, just to kind of get Guam Yu going. That dude was just like, chilling with his horse right there, clipping through Guan Yu, which is glorious. But yeah, this game is just great. I really love this game. I'll probably have to re-review this game after I finish all of this, because I, I wouldn't mind doing that again, just to kind of... More perspective, you know, stuff like that. But, um... It really is such a fun game. It's it's aged. I think it's aged extremely well. Given games like this don't really exist anymore, there's just not a lot of games that uh, do this type of thing. Ooh, hmm. We've got Yan Yan coming up there. Interesting. Well, I may. Okay, so that was weird. Zhao Chang is randomly here. I don't know. I don't know why he's here. Or maybe they just assume. Because yeah, Ma Chao is gonna spawn here, which is makes complete sense. And I think he's just planning. Yeah, okay, good. So he's just gonna do that. Zhuge Liang go like this. Sun Li is going past. I don't know where Zhang Fei is heading at this point. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do her Meteor Shower. I don't really care. They're going to probably Iron... They, he should Iron Wall this unless he's stupid. But if he doesn't Iron Wall this... Okay, he didn't... She didn't Iron Wall that. I'm <laughs> shocked that she did it. Okay. Well, Mason Young has a better better attack than her, so this may still increase Mason Young's uh, meteor shower ability, which would be great. Especially because the best thing is when they don't iron wall it, and then you get a get a magic boost from it because you're like, should have blocked this. I'm trying to make this easy for you, but um, good thing about when you level them up, and yeah, you just hit everything so hard. It's great, and we did get. A spell increase. Well, Ma Su now. I'll just try to like bait it this way. Okay. And they blocked that one. Weird. Weird that they blocked Ma Su's. I, I don't really get that. It's really weird. <laughs> it's very strange. They didn't block Mason Young's and she even got the bonus. So. I mean, Masu can still level up and get other magic abilities, which is what we're going to do here. But that was that's really strange that they didn't block that. I don't really get it. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just do everybody else's stuff here. Let's just go ahead and drop Liu Bei's Battle Cry. Why not? Just might as well just use everything. Might as well even throw down his... uh. Rally, even though we're literally 
next to the storehouse. I don't think Liu Bei would even lose morale with two people fighting him. If Yang Yang started fighting him too, I would have been like, yeah, it's fine. But um, Liu Bei's unit is extremely tanky. I don't really know if they planned on that. I mean, I'm assuming they had to have figured that was going to be... I mean, Cao Cao's unit is tanky too, but I don't think he's even as tanky as Liu Bei's, which is kind of interesting. So, go ahead and drop a battle cry from Zhao Chang. I don't know why Zhao Chang is here. Again, that's weird, because with both of the other ones, Guan Yu's Hawk Troop had Zhao Chang in it as one of the people. So, I don't. again, I don't know. Not sure. And I don't really mind, honestly. Anyone up to having it out with me? Then be my guest. And then we'll obviously try to duel the two ninja ticks. They say no. It's interesting that Eugene isn't here, just the two chicks. I don't know what that's all about, but it's fine. So we've now taken the advantage troop count wise, and we obviously already had the troop or the morale boost that we needed. What is Ma Chao doing? You were going in there? What was happening? Can I take over for Sun Lee here? I don't think I can. It looks like it's not letting me. Abort his mission and have him come over here. It looks like, for some reason, Yan Yan is going that way. I don't really know what that's all about, so I'll just go ahead and have him go that way. Let's have Sun Li help out Guan Yu, because Guan Yu still has to go do his little trick. That's like the whole point. <laughs> but again, I'm not worried. This is just such a great game. I really enjoy this game. It's, it's not a slow, it's not a fast paced game, but it also kind of is because if you do a good strategy with this you can obliterate everybody and also if you do good uh like attacks you absolutely destroy everybody so i think that was just pinging uh what's his name liu zheng he is at this gate which is kind of weird And then here's Ma Chao's little thing. Everyone has their little intro when they first spawn where they do stuff. I mean, I've seen that a million times. It's fine. And we'll have Zhu Liang's troop head towards this gate here. I don't I don't know if anyone is defending this gate. I think somebody might be. Who is? Is it Liu Zhang himself? Okay, no, it's Fa Zhang is. Okay. Okay, Peng Tong, you're extremely far away. All right, there we go. Liu Bei is now fighting Yan Yan, which is fine. At this point, I would not even be surprised if Liu Bei already almost has magic abilities back. Not yet, okay. I'm not super worried about that. Again, we have Ma Chao right there, so I'm not like concerned or anything. We have Zhang Ren getting attacked here. What we'll probably do is after this um thing, after we get rid of Zhang Ren, we'll just have Sun Li maybe move out of Guan Yu's way. Although I think Sun Li's whole force is horse people, so she'll be she'll be fast, so I think I'm not super worried about that. But yeah, we'll see. The hope is to get Guan Yu to do his little, the whole, Guan Yu has his cool attack. We obviously want to see that cutscene. That's a great cutscene. We've seen it the last two weeks, but we haven't seen it in this one yet. So we, we, <laughs> we want it to still happen. Even though at this point we're just destroying everybody. They were much more offensive in this one. So it's a lot faster. So again, if you're, like I've said that I think this is the best strategy. But obviously, I didn't expect speed to be an actual like factor here. But it's definitely going much faster because all of the generals attacked like pretty intensely. <laughs> I mean, we have all of these people attacking right away. We have multiple people fighting at our strongholds here, so it's like, yeah, not really worried. But um. 
I think at this point I'll just stop it here. I plan on uh, moving all the generals to each of the gates, take them all down. That lowers morale, so it's always worth it to do that if you can. And yeah, I don't really know if I have anything else to say. I mean, I'm just going to... I do think this is the best strategy. I think it's quicker, definitely. The enemies are attacking more, which is kind of a no-brainer at this point. Like, they attack, and so it makes it way easier to, like, do anything. Um, also, it involves actually going to more gates, so the enemies are more spread out, too. If the enemies are spread out, that's always kind of a plus in my mind. If I had to assume, I would say it's extremely beneficial to have your enemies not all bunched up, which is why I think Mason Young's strategy was so st so stupid. Again, no offense to her, it's fine. She's she's kind of the like Chang Yu of this force, where she has the ability to be good, but her ideas are kind of stupid. So you know, I'm not gonna totally hate on her for that too much, but I'm like, I don't know what she was thinking. The Guan Yu's attack is obviously decent because you have to move less things and revamp everything like you do with Mason Young's. And Peng Tong's is pretty much spot on. I just slightly moved things just to kind of allow us to still take all three gates. So I just basically moved one general to take a gate. That's all I did. So, again, not too hard, not too painful. We'll have Ma Chao come over here, fight Yan Yan. Ba Zhang is there. You have. Zhang Fei is planning, he's <laughs> slated to go to that gate there, which is good. We'll have Sun Li go around, and then we'll have Guan Yu go to his little hill, and then we should be good. I don't know where Liu Zhang is. I'm, again, not really worried about Liu Zhang. The key is to keep him not near anybody, and I'm pretty sure he's standing basically behind Fa Zhang over there. So, I'm not, like, super worried about that. Now let's have you go there. Let's have Peng, let's check out Zhang Fei's wasting time thing that he's doing. Now Sun Li is gonna run. Once she gets past that gate, I'll be able to actually like ping her to enter through that that gate, so she'll be able to actually do it. Guan Yu's now going to be stupid for a while because that's what happens in this game when enemy when your allies get near each other they just panic and it goes nuts and this is what's happening now is we have Guan Yu and Zheng Fei doing this whatever the heck is happening right now so can Guan Yu just start running because he's faster than Zheng Fei it looks like at least Zheng Fei has the awareness and this intelligence to be like you know I'm going to wait and let the faster general the cavalry man which is Guan Yu run. Which I think is smart. At least they have him smart. We'll have Ma Chao go ahead and head in the northern gate. Hubei is fighting Fa Zhang right here. What is Guan Yu doing? Guan Yu, you were clear. Oh my gosh. So I'm not going to ping it. I'm not going to change it because he's listed as... Um, there's somebody coming out of the gate too. This is... Oh my gosh. Well, I guess while they sit there and act like morons, the gate, the guy who's coming out the gate will come out the gate, and then we can use all of our abilities. So that's, that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guan Yu started fighting Liu Zhang. All right, well, I'm aborting your mission, you moron. It's still fine. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll also have... Zhang Fei aboard his mission, and he'll come over there. Sun Li is going to go into the castle now from this side. That's good. Let's have Zhang Fei just stay out of the way, because I don't, I don't trust Wan Yu to be intelligent here. Again, I don't really care. I mean, the the cutscene is cool. I want the cutscene, but it seems like it's, it's not happening this round, maybe. Again, it doesn't really do anything, especially when the enemies are this aggressive, which they've been extremely aggressive this round. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they have been. I don't remember them being this aggressive. So maybe this isn't what normally happens. 
but who knows. So now Guan Yu is done, so I'll just bring him to the, I guess it's to like here. Yeah, it looks like that's where he needs to go, the hill. I'll, I'll say that's where he needs to go. We'll move Zhang Fei out just that I can monitor Liu Zhang here. So if Liu Zhang starts to run. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's be, let's think smart here and let's move basically along this path. Oh boy, is this going to be one of those things where I'm going to be trying to Catch up to him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think I got it. I literally. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so Zhang Fei is the one that is now fighting Liu Zhang, which is hilarious. Come on, everyone. Let's I'm not super worried about it, just because uh, Liu Zhang is. He mainly just rallies all the time. That's like his favorite thing to do is rally all the time. So we'll just do that a lot, I guess. We'll deal with that a lot, but it's fine. I'm not like super worried about it. I'll try to volley his little group of archers. I think he can also volley as well. I'm not actually sure about that, but yeah. Liu Zhang being here is hilarious. We'll just basically be able to flock through the castle every other way. I'll see if Guan Yu still, this is going to be a good test for me too, if Guan Yu still will do the cutscene, even though I cancelled his mission. I only did that because Guan Yu was going to be fighting Liu Zhang at this gate, which would have been a disaster. So I was like, we have to make sure we don't lose, <laughs> we don't have to make sure we don't lose that guy. Alright, so now let's back up there. I also really respect that they take, so Sun Li obviously has female troops and they replace all the units with female units because she does have like entirely a female army or at least the vast majority of them are females. So I'm like, go, go Koei. That's extra coding, respect it. I'm just going to run through the middle here, just check out what's going on in the castle. We've already taken out a few generals everywhere. And so I guess what I'll have to do is check, I don't know what I'll do. At this point, we have Liu Zhang off on his own. Okay, good. It's good to know. This was good for me to know. The cutscene still works, even if you abort his mission and then bring him back. They didn't break the game. I love that. I mean, it's a pretty quick cutscene. It's it's it does what it needs to very well. It's a very cool cutscene because it's like, I can imagine there being a, a warfare thing like that. That seems kind of cool, you know? Like, I'm like, yeah. At this point, I feel like everyone has actually started fighting somebody. Do 
do that. Like, you gotta break down this gate, man. You're taking way too long to do with this. see anybody over there and then I don't think I see anybody I don't imagine that there's anybody over here actually before I do that let me let me go over here though and, and just check this smash is the closest if there's a general that's because once you get the on takes down that gate and I'll back him up and then Fa Zhang will chase him. I mean, Zhuge Liang can obliterate a general in like two seconds. It's not hard for him to do that. So I'm not like worried about him in, in any way. So what I want to make sure about is like, is our general down here? That I have to be careful about. So also make sure we're not losing too much here with Zhang Fei on that. Go ahead and do a battle cry. Let's just do that. If it starts to get bad, we'll just back Zhang Fei away. Because obviously we don't want to take out Liu Zheng before we make sure we got rid of it. We have to make sure we got rid of everybody. I'm pretty sure there are other generals in the map and other places. So we have to make sure we don't we don't win it too quickly with Zhang Fei here. Liu Zhang looks pretty cool, but again, never see him again. there should be more generals somewhere so I'm just gonna kind of like can just peek around the map just make sure obviously keep Liu Bei for sure at that gate we don't want to make we don't want to lose that okay What is happening over here? Okay, good. Now we'll, we'll back him up. Zheng Fei doesn't do this, then obviously the way I've done this game in the past is if a general breaks my version of it, I just do one of the other versions, which I have a bunch of them. So if Zheng Fei is kind of stupid and doesn't run away like I want him to, then we'll obviously just take another version of this game. I hope that he listens to me. Trying to get him to listen. Like, hey, back up, dummy. Everybody, like, weirdly in this game, like, sometimes they just they just don't respond to the retreat command. Like, it's weird. And then everyone, and then eventually they do. Eventually they will back up. And so, like, Zhang Fei backing up, I'm like, okay, good. 
Good job, dude. You like listened. Well, let's see what let's see what Liu Zhang is doing. So my hope is he just kind of runs away. That's my hope. It looks like that's exactly what he's doing. Now we just need to make sure that Zhuge Liang isn't kind of stupid. <laughs> doesn't Zhuge Liang? You also need to back up because what I want is for Zhuge Liang to just annihilate everything that Fa Zhang has. Fa Zhang doesn't have uh, Iron Wall, so like, if if Zhuge Liang listens to me and backs up, it'll be great. And we'll have Zhang Fei just basically follow uh, Liu Zhang that way. I feel like there are more generals that I'm missing. I feel like... I feel like there should be other generals, but I'm just not seeing them. Make sure Zhang Fei doesn't... You wait just a second. I think I actually do see somebody right there. So let's hold position just for a second. Let's let Zhu Ge Liang go out here. Oh no. We got Zhu Ge Li we got we got Liu Zhang coming for him. No. <laughs> Get away, Zhang Fei. Keep running, Zheng Fei. Just get out of there. Okay. Now, Guan Yu, you go in. Now that Fang Zheng is through. And this is just how you maximize your time in this game. Is when a general starts to get near a commanding officer who needs to live or else we win the game too quickly then you just you just back them up just get them out of there save yourself pain and annoyance I'm glad this is actually happening let me look and see what Zhang Fei is doing is Liu Zhang just like right behind him he is chasing him okay run Zhang Fei run man you can you can take him and you will the second this is what's gonna happen the second he gets there He's just gonna uh, destroy him. Cause you, Zhang Fei, I have Raid, I have uh, Battle Cry, and Li Li has Rush. We have enough people to completely demolish this guy. We're just trying to not end the game too fast. We have two generals here to defeat. We have Guan Yu going for, what's his name? Wu Yi, Wu Yi, that was what I like figured Wu Yi was still alive. I just had a feeling. I was like, I'm pretty sure that dude is supposed to be alive still, and he's like not. Jake Fei, you just you just keep running, dude. He is still he is still Li Zhang is pissed at Zhang Fei right now, so we're just gonna keep Running Zheng Fei away. Alright. Now let's just obliterate everything that Kai Mao or Fa Zheng owns, because it's all It's all coming in. My units are all running weirdly over here. I don't really know what's happening. Let's just pave let's just <laughs> come through here. Fortunately we have two people on our side with um Abilities. Those are my units over there for some reason. I don't know what y'all are doing. Alright, let's just do a... Let's do a fireball right through everybody. That should be... That should be pretty good. But yeah, obviously what I'm going to do is keep pulling Zhang Fei back. Liu Zhang seems really adamant about chasing Zhang Fei for some weird reason. Instead of running the way he was originally running, he was originally going towards Liu Bei. I don't know what made him change his mind. Maybe Zhang Fei offended him. 
triggered him. I don't know. Weird. So, I don't know, but I'm, I'll take it, you know. Zhang Fei running away and Liu Zhang chasing him is like the funniest thing. Right, we got that. That was obliteration. Now let's go and check. Okay, we have... There's not much left. Can I not control this dude? Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do a volley on everything that's left. We'll just stun it all, and then we'll use fire stuff. But yeah, I think I'm done talking. I said that earlier, but I didn't. Thank you all for watching, though. Enjoy the rest of the video. Peace.
There's no one here on Earth who could ever do
General is... Why did you have to attack Liu Zhang? To stop Cao Cao. In order to expand our forces. You too have been seduced by the desire for conquest. No. I just want to rescue you. No matter what your excuse is, you're doing the same thing as Cao Cao. No. You're worse than Cao Cao. At least he's being honest about it. Xiao Chan, I know you, don't you understand. just want to be the Emperor too. Xiao Chan, no, that's not true. Trust me. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I... No, no, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I haven't saved you yet. Believe me, I'm not like Cao Cao. I have no desire to rule the world or to make the people suffer. All I want to do is to save you. Cao Cao is not as merciless as you think he is. I just know that if there was a way, a way that I could get him to stop fighting. Listen to me. You must not trust Cao Cao. Liu Bei, there's so much you don't understand. Xiao Chan! <laughs> 